I felt uncomfortable in my own body. I felt unsafe. I felt responsible for what an older person did to me. When she was just three years old, Ann Polk was exposed to pornography and molested. In that moment, her sense of safety and self-identity was destroyed. I literally overnight dressed more like a tomboy. I was no longer interested in dolls. It was everything to do with throwing off the feminine because it was unsafe. When I was about six years old, a little girl made a pass at me and then she kissed me. What I realized right then is I felt like I had power as opposed to being powerless in the other circumstance. And that ignited uh, lesbian desire later on in life. That was really the starting point of that turning of my feelings. Raised in a Christian home, Anne suppressed her same-sex feelings through high school. But that changed when she went to college. I found myself quickly getting involved in alcohol and drugs on campus. They were everywhere. And that also gave me room to explore my sexual desires. I started going to a college campus advisor, a peer-related person who said, it's no problem, the Bible and homosexuality go just fine together. And I just sensed that there was something off about that, even though I wasn't, I didn't really know God. Uh, I, I knew of him, but I didn't know him personally. Desperate for love and community, Anne attended gay support groups on campus. But one night during a meeting, she heard from the Holy Spirit. It felt like a, a ray of light from heaven hit me right in the middle of this gay meeting, um, that the love that you're seeking, you're not gonna find here. And I thought, oh no, because I'd banked all my hopes on that, <laughs> that I would find a female partner and we'd get married or have a relationship like that and live the rest of our lives together. I knew that voice was telling me the truth. And so I was very destroyed. I felt so sad. I ran off and asked God who he really was. I'd said, if you are the Christian God, which I hope you're not, here are the things I need to see happen. Boom, 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 boom. And he answered all of them. I didn't tell anyone else that. I didn't give anybody else a chance to fulfill them. And God came through. In two weeks, I began to be surrounded by Christians who actually knew him. And those led to conversations where he became really apparent. She began attending Bible studies on campus. One night, she says she had an amazing encounter with the Jesus she'd always knew about, but never known. The last night we were praying, everybody with their heads bowed and praying, and I was pretending, you know, okay, this is what you do, you put your hands together, you bow your head. And a person was in that room, a person who was full of grace and kindness and full of authority. And he just revealed himself to me that he was in the room weaving in and out amongst the prayers of the saints. But around me, there was such a gap. There was a hole, it was void. And I knew that night, I told the pastor afterwards, I said, I have to have the person who was in that room in my life. I would give anything to have that person in my life. And that night I accepted Jesus uh, to be my Lord and Savior and felt like, literally felt like God had filled me, energized me, filled me up with joy in a way that was hard to describe. At first, Anne's new faith in Jesus gave her a freedom from same-sex attraction. But four years after becoming a Christian, she fell back into a lesbian relationship. Broken and desperate for change, she reached out to a ministry in California that ministers to the sexually broken. It gave me an example of people who are actually walking out faithfulness uh, to Jesus with same-sex attraction. It gave some examples of really far down the line of some people who were now married to people of the opposite sex who had kids and were thriving in that relationship. They were no longer daily and moment by moment dealing with same-sex attraction the way I was. And so it kind of gave me um, a long, long view of what could be and what was happening with other people. And that was really helpful and very encouraging to me. Anne found the keys that set her free from same-sex attraction. Soon she felt safe as a woman again, as the love of Jesus filled her need for intimacy. What was surprising to me is within five years of working on issues in my life, of forgiving people, particularly the, 
the fellow who molested me when I was younger. That opened a door for me to enjoy being a woman and enjoying being a woman and really thriving in it with my relationships with other women kind of began to fill up my cup. And then I noticed that men are different. That eventually this pathway led to me getting married. I never would have guessed that. And then having three children, I was given a bounty of beauty in place of my struggles by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And he walked me through that step so that I could become more the woman he always intended me to be. Today, Anne champions healing from same-sex attraction as the director of the Restored Hope Network. I am so grateful that the Lord raised me up to be a leader in this movement of helping people leave homosexuality. And that is joy. It is absolute joy for me. Here's a scripture that I love that you can hang your hat on. He gives me beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, a garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness, that we might be trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. You know, God wants to have relationship with us. And I, I think Anne is like so many, you know, you, you grow up going to church, you grow up having head knowledge about things but you don't really know Jesus. And then if you, if you go off doing your own thing, which is common to all of us, sometimes you don't really wanna know Jesus because innately in the heart of us, we know that we're, we've gone astray. You know, it's just our humanity. And yet the person that she felt in that room when she prayed, the mercy, the grace, the forgiveness, the love, is who Jesus is. He's not come to judge us. He's come to set us free. That's what he said. I came to set the captives free. And we're all captive before we get set free to wanting to find love most often apart from him in all the wrong places. And yet God create us, created us with intent and purpose. You know, his word says, I saw you I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. He didn't make a mistake in your gender. He didn't make a mistake in how you were created or his kingdom purposes for you. We make the mistake in our unwillingness to align ourselves with him, to say, God, I wanna know who you are and I wanna know what your intention for my life is. I wanna know what you created me to be and I, I want to let go of constantly trying to do it my way. You know, there are many things that happen that, that cause us to do that. I mean, in Anne's scenario, molested as a three-year-old, you get a very distorted picture of who you are, of life, and certainly of the safety of being female. There are lots and lots of people who've struggled through that. Some people struggle with same-sex attraction and they haven't gone through something like that. You know, when we come to Jesus, we talk about surrender. It's all about loving him and trusting him enough to obey him. And when we do, all those questions fall into place and our identity gives us the kind of peace that Anne finally found. And you can have that too. You know, it's really a matter of, will you come to Jesus? Will you invite him into your heart and your life? Will you trust him enough to listen to what he speaks to your heart and then walk with him? Walk with him, don't be afraid of him. He loves you so much. If you need to pray with someone today about whatever you're struggling with in your life, our phone lines are always open. The toll free number is 1-800-700-7000. Call because there's a friend on the end of the line that wants to pray with you who's found the very freedom you're looking for. So call now, 1-800-700-7000. Hello, I'm Gordon Robertson. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more encouraging videos like this one. Welcome to the 700 Club Interactive Family and God bless you.